Hi, this is Ashwin. Uh, I'm from Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata. Uh, the title of my talk is State a Lightweight and uh, Low Energy Authenticated Encryption Mode. And this is a joint work with uh, Avik Chakrabarti, Nilanjan Datta, Kwatemok Mencias Lopez, Mridul Nandi, and Yu Sasaki. So, uh, State is a block cipher based lightweight uh, AED. So, let's first uh, look into uh, what's the requirement of from, from a block cipher based lightweight AED. Uh, the first one is uh, small state size. So, we need that the overall state size should be small. Uh, this will help in uh, low area implementations in hardware as well as uh, uh, memory constraint software implementations. The second one is uh, optimal number of primitive invocations. So this is uh, basically uh, it's well known that uh, the n uh, energy consumption by a uh, cryptographic algorithm is uh, directly proportional to the number of primitive calls it makes. Uh, so reducing the number of primitive calls uh, reduces uh, the energy consumption as well. So uh, the third one is uh, defense in depth. Uh, by defense in depth, we mean that uh, a construction which is uh, robust, uh, even when uh, some parameters are uh, exploited beyond uh, the conventional means. So, for example, uh, there is a nonce, and the adversary can repeat the nonce. So, even if this construction is secure, then we say that it's a nonce misuse resistance. So, even if the adversary misuses the nonce, the construction is secure. Another one, uh, an important one, is uh, the RUP security where uh, the adversary can get uh, unverified plain text. So uh, even before uh, the complete plain text is uh, verified at the decryption end, uh, the adversary gets some unverified plain text. So a scenario where you can get this kind of uh, uh, advantage is uh, where the memory buffer is small. So uh, we have to release some unverified plain text. So uh, it will be good if a construction can be uh, proved to be RUP secure. Okay. Uh, 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 recently, uh, uh, Bunny Ketal uh, presented a construction called Sunday that tries to achieve uh, some of these uh, uh, goals. Uh, Sunday is a MAC then encrypt type scheme where uh, the MAC part is done by OMAC. So OMAC type MAC where uh, you use uh, some constant multiplication, multiplication by 2 or 2 square to separate the domain. Uh, and the encryption part is done by OFB or output feedback uh, function. The Sunday mode uh, has a compact n bit state. Uh, here, uh, of course, we are ignoring the key size uh, right now. So you can always uh, assume that there is a, uh, a k bit uh, state for key as well. But apart from that, there is uh, only n bit state for uh, the whole construction. Uh, then uh, uh, what the authors showed is uh, that the Sunday mode is a nonce misuse resistant. In fact, it can be viewed as a um, SIV like construction as well, uh, where both uh, the um, uh, MAC and the encryption part, they use the same key. So uh, and uh, it achieves uh, nonce misuse resistant uh, security. But there is a catch here. And the catch is that the Sunday does not provide uh, RUP security. So uh, you may have already seen an attack on Sunday uh, in a previous uh, paper, uh, in a paper that has been presented uh, in FSE 2020. And uh, another uh, disadvantage of Sunday is that it requires an additional primitive call to prepare a state depending upon the emptiness of the data. So whether data is empty or not, uh, uh, to differentiate this uh, thing, we, uh, Sunday requires an additional uh, block cipher call. Okay, so our motivation is simple. Our motivation is to design a block cipher based lightweight AAD that uh, first of all achieves uh, near optimal state size like Sunday. It achieves uh, the nonce misuse resistance uh, property of Sunday. Additionally, we want that uh, it should have uh, optimal number of primitive calls. So we want to uh, uh, so somehow reduce the number of that additional call to zero. Uh, we want to make the construction multiplication free. So Sunday uses uh, multiplications by uh, constant elements in the field. Uh, so what we want is we want to remove everything apart from uh, any, any other operation apart from block cipher calls. 
uh, and uh, finally we want inter up security so we want uh, that the adversary should not be able to forge uh, even uh, when he is given access to unverified plain text okay so we propose uh, uh, a construction called state uh, which is an uh, imp which can be viewed as a uh, improvement over sunday uh, that achieves uh, all the all these uh, five parameters so how a state works so you have uh, a block uh, associated data m block message so uh, first of all what we do is we uh, uh, encrypt the nonce using uh, tweak value 1 uh, so uh, a state is based on a tweakable block cipher and uh, we'll see what's the utility of tweakable block cipher uh, later on uh, so uh, we encrypt the nonce n with the uh, tweak value 1 and then we use this uh, as an initial value in uh, uh, cbc mac like uh, operation over the associated data basically this is uh, fcbc where the last uh, uh, call is uh, differentiated uh, uh, with tweaks 2 and 3 depending upon whether the um, uh, data is full or uh, partial given the intermediate tag uh, computed uh, on the associated data what we do is we com we again compute uh, the same fcvc like uh, operation over the message to generate the final tag and given this tag we use this tag as the initial value for the ofb uh, encryption and uh, this encryption is done exactly like uh, ofb so you can see here this this part is completely uh, similar to ofb and these are similar to uh, the fcvc operations so you can see uh, what we are doing is we are using tweaks to uh, domain separate so here the tweak is uh, one and one is not used anywhere uh, else uh, uh, so one is used uh, solely for uh, the nonce processing zero has been used to process uh, all these uh, associated data and the message and two three four five uh, etc have been used to uh, differentiate the last block processing okay so that this is for the uh, full uh, this is for a block associated data and m block message now suppose the associated data is empty in that case we simply ignore the um, first layer first uh, layer of operations here and we directly go to m0 to mm minus 1 so we directly process m0 to mm minus 1 and we get the tag and then uh, the operation is similar okay similarly for empty message we ignore the uh, uh, processing of message and we uh, simply go for a0 to a minus 1 here a uh, point to notice that we use uh, different tweaks here so we use uh, 6 and 7 instead of 2 and 3 so that this intermediate tag value uh, does not uh, release any information to the adversary so uh, because uh, in uh, empty message case the tweaks are different so the adversary cannot use this to uh, construct a, another forgery query where the message is uh, non-empty. Okay, and the last and the most extreme case is where both associated data and empty uh, and the messages are empty. In that case, we simply use a uh, unique uh, tweak eight to encrypt the nonce, and that's our tag value. Uh, we also give a, a smaller version of a state called S state that uh, replaces uh, the uh, uh, full block cipher E uh, so this is the full block cipher E uh, it replaces it with a uh, uh, round reduced block cipher F that always uses tweak 15 and this uh, round reduced version is always used to process the intermediate blocks you can see the uh, last output la, uh, the output of the last block uh, the processing of the last block uh, uh, data is always done using the last uh, is using a full block cipher in both associated data and message and the encryption part is similar to the uh, previous case in case of a state okay and uh, this is as uh, similar to a state so we are here we are ignoring the ad part because ad is empty in this case we are ignoring the message part because the message is empty and uh, the empty ad and empty message is exactly same as a state Okay, as I said, uh, we use tweak 15 for function f 
and this is to maximize the distance with zero tweak so uh, the way we'll choose our tweakable block cipher uh, this uh, maximizing the distance will be clear when we talk about the choice of our tweakable block cipher but for now you can assume that uh, choosing tweak 15 uh, will give us some advantage in terms of security okay let's talk about some of the design choices so first of all uh, uh, we use mac then encrypt mode so uh, this is because uh, sunday is using mac then encrypt mode and this uh, construction state is uh, inspired by sunday so you follow sunday's approach and as a result we gain uh, by compact state so uh, you can see that uh, state is state requires just n bit state uh, for the block cipher and uh, a very small state for the tweak so uh, this gives us compact state then there is an inverse free nature so there is no uh, inverse call here and uh, we achieve non misuse resistance uh, then uh, the question comes for a tweakable block cipher so sunday is based on a block cipher so why do we need a tweakable block cipher so uh, this is uh, first of all this is used to uh, for domain separation so we the we use a very short tweak so we actually use from 0 to 8 in case of a state and uh, 0 to 15 in case of uh, s a state so we use a very short tweak for domain separation and for domain separation means we uh, differentiate between the type of data whether it's ad or message uh, we differentiate between uh, whether the data is empty or non empty and we differentiate whether the final block is uh, full or uh, partial. Another byproduct of this is that the construction is completely multiplication free. In fact, it is free from any other operation apart from the block cipher operation itself. So in this way, uh, we can say that the construction is very simple and uh, the circuit will be quite simple given the, uh, that the tweakable block cipher circuit is simple. So uh, this is another advantage of using a tweakable block cipher. Okay, let's uh, see the choice of tweaks. So as I said, tweak zero is used to process uh, bulk of the messages. So the, this is this will be identical to block cipher as we'll see in the choice of uh, our TBC. Tweak one is used to uh, use uh, to encrypt the nonce. So the first block cipher call is used using tweak one, and this will ensure RUP security because uh, tweak 1 is not used anywhere else then uh, tweak 2 to 8 is used for domain separation so 2 and 3 are used for full and partial block 4 and 5 are used for full and partial uh, final plain text block uh, 6 and 7 are used for non empty ad and empty message and 8 is used for empty ad and uh, empty message okay so uh, as i said uh, so the choice of tweakable block cipher uh, we actually uh, use a tweakable block cipher which follows the elastic tweak framework so what is elastic tweak framework so elastic tweak framework is uh, uh, so we uh, convert a block cipher to a tweakable block cipher so elastic tweak framework converts a block cipher to a tweakable block cipher uh, basically we parameterize the block cipher with four parameters uh, t which is the tweak size te which is the expanded tweak size Tick is the number of uh, positions where we insert uh, the tweak bits and gap is the number of uh, rounds uh, between each tweak addition. So how it works? So we first expand the tweak T uh, with a high distance uh, error correcting code uh, and then we inject it into the state uh, uh, after a certain number of uh, rounds. So uh, the recommended uh, version of state uh, it uses uh, two different uh, tweakable uh, short tweak tweakable block cipher first one is uh, tweak aes which is uh, the uh, which is a uh, variant of aes128 based on elastic tweak framework and it has this property of aes that because the number of rounds is very less this construction is quite energy efficient in that terms and uh, tweak gift is uh, based on gift 128 and because of uh, the ultra lightweightness of gift 128 we get the same uh, advantage here and this construction is used uh, is useful for area efficiency so we have uh, various constructions for uh, various application domain
okay uh, so let's uh, see a state in light of nist lwc standardization so basically in the first round uh, there were uh, several candidates uh, based on siv or mac then encrypt the so state uh, sunday gift limdolen sivrindal sivtem photon and triple uh, there were some others but these were the major constructions so uh, among these uh, sunday and state uh, they continue to be in the second round and as you can see uh, the state size is much smaller than the other ones in fact, Sunday is uh, slightly better than state, so you get four bit uh, less state in case of Sunday gift. But state has uh, uh, optimality, entire UP security, and multiplication free, which is uh, uh, not present in Sunday gift. So state has some advantage over Sunday, with a negligible increase in the state size. Okay, so uh, let's compare with Sunday. So we have uh, the number of primitive calls is. Uh, in state it's a plus 2m whereas in sunday it's a plus 2m plus 1 so sunday has an additional call which is to differentiate the emptiness of data whether the data is empty or not uh, depending upon that the initial state is constructed initial value is constructed and then that is used for uh, the processing later on state achieves this via designated tweak as i said earlier so this can be an efficient solution for short message processing and uh, we actually uh, observed this for uh, short messages via hardware implementation. So the throughput for 16 byte data is 945.36 Mbps for Sunday AES. And you can see that state uh, has um, around 300 Mbps more uh, throughput here. So if in case of state, it's 1251 Mbps. And similar thing can be observed till 2048 bytes. Uh, then there is number of multiplication. So Sunday requires multiplications by two or two square for domain separation, and state achieves this by designated tweak values. So again, uh, the domain separation thing can be done via uh, tw uh, designated tweak values. So it can actually re remove all the multiplication. So it is multiplication free. In UP security, uh, as you will see in a paper by Chang et al., uh, Sunday is insecure against inter UP attacks, but we uh, the choice of our distinct tweaks ensures entire UP security of state. So uh, let's see the hardware performance with respect to Sunday. So if you see here, uh, uh, state has much better number of LUTs as compared to Sunday. It is uh, much lower, and uh, the throughput is uh, much uh, similar to uh, Sunday. Yeah, so this for. Uh, uh, long messages so for long messages uh, the number of primitive calls uh, is quite similar because uh, it's only uh, uh, the sunday has only one more extra call so the throughput is quite similar but a state has uh, significantly less uh, lut's so in instead of uh, so uh, in terms of uh, throughput by area a state is better than uh, sunday Okay, uh, we also compare Sunday uh, state with uh, SAE AES. Uh, so uh, what we do is we uh, implement it in a uh, to minimize the area using 8-bit data path on vertex 7, and uh, we see that uh, state has very similar uh, number of LUTs as compared to SAE AES, and the frequency is much higher than SAE AES. So this is another advantage of uh, state uh, in terms uh, in comparison to SAE AES. Okay, uh, some uh, third party software benchmarking is given here. So uh, some of the implementations here are due to risk with early and the benchmark marking results are from uh, the benchmarking effort by Renner et al. So you can see that state uh, performs favorably as compared to uh, Sunday gift here. Uh, in most of the cases in some cases the rom size is slightly higher but overall we can see that state is uh, slightly better than sunday in software also uh, in terms of security what we show is that uh, state achieves AERP, aerup security uh, which is roughly the birthday bound of the total number of uh, block cipher calls across all encryption and decryption queries so just a uh, uh, Heads up here, the AERUP is a uh, new notion by Chang et al. that combines the notion of uh, privacy in TARUP and pre image awareness, so PA1. 
so what we have shown is that state achieved privacy in tar up and pa1 security while uh, the number of uh, block cipher calls is less than uh, 2 to the n by 2 so it's a birthday bound secure construction and the high level proof approach is uh, simple so the privacy is quite uh, simple to uh, 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 see because uh, the privacy follows from the prf security of mac and the weak prf security of the encryption scheme and it's it's quite simple to see that fcbc and uh, uh, ofb both of them are secure till the birthday bound so uh, we can ignore privacy for now uh, we can ignore the privacy in this talk uh, and we'll concentrate on the rup security so uh, what you can show is that the tweak values for the first block cipher call in tag generation and encryption are always distinct okay so this ensures that the release of internal state information in the encryption phase gives no information of internal state of tag generation phase so these two states you can uh, say that these are uh, distinct up to a certain uh, low probability of collision so for any forgery then the adversary has to guess the output of a prf which is uh, possible with at most uh, 1 over 2 to the n probability so when you combine all these uh, things what you get is a AERP, AERUP bound of the form order sigma square by 2 to the n plus QD by 2 to the n where sigma square by 2 to the n is due to the PRF security of the tag generation phase as well as uh, there is a low probability of collision as well which, of the, which is of the same order and the QD by 2 to the n is due to the forgery attempt where QD denotes the number of forgery attempts. So this uh, kind of gives the uh, proof of RUP security for uh, a state uh, and for S state Actually, the security follows from the security of uh, FCBC as well as OFP. So we have not given this uh, in this talk, but uh, it's quite simple to see. Okay, so here we end the talk and uh, I hope uh, you will uh, read the paper. And uh, thank you. Stay safe.